Uh, it felt good to be back, um, you know, back alone on the field with my teammates, being able to make plays. Uh, but the process was long. Uh, you know, I was kind of down for a while. Kind of hurt my self-esteem, my self-confidence, but I found a way to build it back up and perform well, I think. So in the first game, I was back. It happened. Was it on a punt? Yeah. Just talk about what happened and how disappointed you were being that way when it happened. Uh, it was just kind of a, you know, something that doesn't nearly happen at practice ever. Uh, some guys just fell on my leg, and I knew just right, right off the bat that <laughs> it was bad. But, you know, I was I was praying it was it was nothing really serious, but, you know. When you made the decision to come here, <coughs> did you look at the schedule and see Florida State and think, what is the game I really want to play in? Uh, yeah, I looked at the schedule, and I saw Florida State, and I was like, you know, they – won a championship, so I was thinking that'd be a good contest, be a, a good challenge for us. You glad you got a game under your belt before? before yeah, I'm glad. It was uh, it was good to get out back, get get back out there and just you know get a feel for the game again. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like Saturday? Uh, it's a noon game, so you know I'm really hot. Maybe pretty loud, pretty loud maybe, but yeah, I expect it to be pretty fun. Did you watch Florida State Miami. Watch a little bit, yeah. just a little bit. First impressions of Florida State? <laughs> They're a good team. Uh, they they got a lot of talent, but anybody can be beat. Mark, what have you thought about the, uh, uh, the contributions from all the freshmen that have played on offense, uh, including the wide Uh They all came in right away and just started making plays. Uh, you know, Jalen Smith, Travion Samuels, they all, Lamar Jackson as well. Uh, they all just came right in, and it was like the, the team never missed a beat. How have you seen Lamar grow? Oh, he's becoming more of a leader, uh, you know, in the huddle, taking charge of the huddle and, and taking charge of the team, really. Uh, but as we all know, he makes plays, and he makes the correct calls when the time comes for that. All those young guys made plays, and now your James is back one game, you're back the next game. How different or how much, how much is it help that you guys – uh, it just brings another, uh, like a leadership role to the offense, uh, another playmaking, playmaking opportunities for everybody. So I think it's it's a positive thing. As far as your role goes, is, is this offense pretty much the same as you ran at UAB with Coach McGee? Yeah, my freshman year, yes, it's, it's the same. Mark, what do you think of uh, uh, another Alabama guy, Kenny Thomas, got to start the last game as a true freshman tackle? Uh, it's very impressive. Uh, left tackle starting in an ACC school is very impressive. Uh, you got to be very smart and talented to play the left tackle position anyway at any school. So I was very impressed with that. Well, you're in the bye week. You know, those young guys have been playing so much. To be able to take a step back, did you see some lights, you know, coming on a little bit for them to kind of assess and maybe learn a lot and maybe get a little bit more comfortable in the offense during the bye week? Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, they all just settled in from, from the time they got here in, in July or June. Uh, they all just came right in, took the offense, and, and just ran with it, really. It's, it seemed like they've – it's almost like they've been here for years, almost. What have you seen out of Florida State's defense? Uh, they're fast and physical. Um, you know, they, they get to the ball pretty fast, and they, they make plays in the secondary and on the, the front seven. So they're pretty talented. Uh, I don't think so. Coach is saying they play dime sometimes, play nickel, play six seven. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you kind of think about the bad challenges? That they're, uh, they have a lot of fast guys back there, got to bring the team all in Oh, well, you know, the more people they put out there, the, the more we'll just have to make plays. I mean, regardless of how many people they want to put in the secondary, we just have to go out and make plays regardless. Uh, Lamar is very mobile. Uh, he's good on his feet, but at the same time, he has a very strong arm. So, you know, even if he is rolling out, he can still stop and throw it back across the field. So he's very talented, and he has a very strong arm. What do you think makes you the receiver uh, you uh, Tall. <laughs> uh, pretty fast. Good hands. I can jump. So I'm um, very competitive. I think that's that's the edge that gives us gives me a a, a, a boost. Larry Coach said that he's to see uh, Lamar Jackson play with the rushing game more in gear with guys other than Lamar, you know, running back. Mm -hmm. How 
Well, if we don't block, then we don't get those runs. It's ten plus yards. So you know, it's we uh, we emphasize blocking every day. We always do a blocking drill every day, just so you know, if it does come to our side or you know, a cut back across the field, we're still there to make, make the play and make the block for the, uh, the running back to make the scoring touchdown. Is that a? I mean, is that another part of being a big guy? And Jalen is a big guy. And Clay is a big guy. Yeah. I mean, Yeah, it has its upside to it, being a bigger guy blocking a smaller DB, you know, but you just got to be quick on your feet with that too.